Alright. Is there anyone else who would like some blue? Let's see. Anyone else crying out for some blue? This one is. Can we do a different? Can we do the splats? Yeah, let's do the splats. Way too much again, Adele. Way too much. You don't need a lot of this Color Blast stuff. Um, but I always tend to use way too much. Oh, I love that. Okay, some more. I'm going straight over the hearts. We'll see what happens. Oh, watch out. If you're doing stencils, watch out for the edge of the stencil. Oh, that's cool. Some more here. And if you're also stenciling like I am, like I'm doing the middle of the stencil now, I'm in the middle of the page, make sure you hold it up and you don't accidentally squash what you've already done. Because I have learnt that the hard way many times before. This might need a bit more here. Just a little bit. Hopefully you can still read those words that I just accidentally covered. <laughs> And maybe a bit down here. This is where this is when you're all at your computer screens shouting, Adele, stop. And I'm going to listen to you. There we go. Not sure if any of the other ones need blue. Um, they're very pink. Oh no, this one does. This one can do with some blue. Maybe this one again. I think I might do that one. You know what I could do? <gasps> I'm going to show you. You can blend Color Blast really nicely too. I'm going to put a bit of blue and then green over the top. And then get some white. Mmm. Nice. Alright, do the same thing. So a bit of blue. And these weird droply things. A bit of green. Just a little bit. Wipe that off. And then a tiny bit of white. Which isn't white at all. Because I have everything else on my paintbrush, palette thing. And a tiny bit more white. Cute. Um, maybe a tiny bit more here. Because this one's a bit of a, not a crazy one, but it's got a few different colour parts to it. And you get to, you really see it when they dry. I can't tell you enough how much they. Um, They really glimmer up. Ah, uh, that's nice. All right, I think I need a tiny bit down here just to balance it off. I'm gonna do a bit of blue, wee tiny little bit of green, and then merge it in the middle with some of the white. Cute! Alright, and that's cool. It kind of looks like dinosaur scales. Alright, so this one made my desk thoroughly nice and dirty. I'm just going to pause it for a sec, clean this one and wash my hands. Alright, I'm back, but I've just got to show you these two book heads. So here's where I'm putting all of my wet pages on the stools. And look at this. They're the keeper of... The art journal pages. <laughs> Bunnies, what are you doing? Is that your new um, cubby hole, is it? You're just making sure nothing happens to the pages. Or, alternatively, more realistically, waiting until mummy's back is turned so that um, they can munch on them, which they often like to do. All right. Back to it. All right, so for this one, part of me is tempted to do like 
an arrow thing, but I don't know. I don't know. What do I do, like a squiggly thing? Or some weird squares. They're kind of cool. Yeah, I might do the weird squares. In, yeah, red rose petal. I think. I haven't used this weird square one, so I'm going to start at the top. Oh, no, I should start down the bottom because then, yeah, start down the bottom. Right. This is quite an experiment on one of my favourite ones, which is often not ideal. Oh no, that's kind of cool. If you do want to experiment with a stencil you haven't used before, I do highly recommend doing it on um, some scrap paper <laughs> before actually doing it on the real thing. Okay, let's push that one down. <coughs> And come on, you've got enough. You can do it. Okay, and then maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's a very not an odd stencil, it's just it's just different. I'm gonna do one here, like oh I should do one over the camera. No, that's too much. Too much. Alright, so pop some modeling paste on here. I always either get too much modelling paste or too little and it always ends badly. And then I'm going to put a little frame around this doggy <laughs> because I feel like it. Oh, cute. And then maybe just one down here, like a half one. Yep, there we go. Still feel like it needs something. Mm. Do you know what I'm actually going to do? some white splatters on this one. So this is just chalk texture that if you watched part five you would have seen me use. And that's what I use for my splatters and I get it absolutely everywhere but that's okay. <laughs> yeah that's better. Um, now I think I am going to actually wipe that one off because I don't think I need two layouts with pink frames. See some stencils it's easier to um, it's easier to use it over and over again and you can't really tell but something like a, a pink frame kind of makes it a bit more obvious. I think for this one I might do some plus signs. There's one, two. So what's your favourite stencil? What's your favourite stencil? Let me know in the comments. My favourite stencil, I think, would have to be that one. Yeah, the scattered, scattered stars. I'm a fan of the scattered stars. I just, I just like how um, kind of random it looks even though it's really not Put some more up here someone's scurrying around behind me I've been cleaning my craft room all day so I've been <laughs> every time I unpack a um, like a parcel or a box or something I put it on the floor for the bunnies if you didn't know I have two bunnies their names are Poppet and Frida and they're like cats they hang around the house and they're gorgeous. Um, but anywho, they've been so excited because I keep <laughs> I keep giving them more and more boxes and they think it's Christmas Day because they love to chew boxes. I'm really surprised actually if you're a listener over on my other channel, um, Inky Quill, you will know that they often like to start, particularly Frida, likes to start chewing boxes as soon as mum starts recording. That's really cute. Yeah. But but they haven't started yet. So we're going, we're going good. I'm gonna do more of these because it's here and there's that purpley kind of colour in this one. So when I'm picking what colour, I see what colours are in the um the focal image, what colours have I used in the background. And I kind of 
balance it up. So if I do some texture paste on one side of the page, I'll do it on the other. This part is kind of a bit awkward. There's a lot of transitions to different papers. So I'm going to do some there because of that. And then I might even do some more. There we go. And I've actually positioned it so that it kind of skips, it covers the actual plastic stencil covers the word part so I don't have to worry about going around it because I'm not very good at avoiding things like that. <laughs> it's like my brain makes like a, oh I can't, I can't put paint over that so therefore I must put paint over that. It's like, it's like it does it on purpose. Oh, she's kind of got smudgy boobies now. That's okay. That's all right. We do need a little bit here, though. Just a wee little bit. Okay. So that one's done. We're almost finished. That's exciting. Okay. So I could have put that back into the bottle, but I didn't. The jar thing. This, um, I know someone's going to ask, this plastic stuff here I got from Bunnings and it's kind of, it reminds me of the stuff that you would use for like for sale signs on a house. It's like plastic, it's kind of corrugated but it has a plastic coat over the top um, and it's really, really handy because you can just wipe it off with most things. Like I've got a few pen marks on here but it's very, very, it's much better than um, damaging my desk and my desk is brown so I think it's a lot easier to use it. Now should I do gold? I haven't really done much gold. It's my favourite one. Bless you Aaron. It's my hubby sneezing in the background. Alright, so I think I might do gold little hearts for this awkward looking couple because they look like they need a bit of love in their life. <laughs> And I'm just putting it randomly. Who knows where it's going? Um, tiny bit there. There we go. And then this is kind of an empty space over here. So I'm going to do a lot over here. A little bit up the top. Make sure I don't get any on their faces. Up, oh, I did. <laughs> See, I told you, it's that radar. Oh, I just put some straight on his eye. I know I did. Made him into a little bit of a heart pirate. That's cute. That'll, once that dries, that'll be really nice. And there's only two to go. Ah, oh, this is one of my favourites. And it's definitely calling out for a bit of gold heart. And I think I'm going to try and do some a little bit over onto the picture. So this is this is a great way how to make your focal image not look so kind of like, I don't know the technical term, but I would say like plonked on. Like <laughs> sometimes it looks like your focal image is so distant from the background. So you've done this beautiful background and then it's just like plonked on. But this, by going over the top, you can see here with the modeling paste, I've kind of merge the focal point the stick on part to the background in by just overlapping some of the um some of the stencil i do some more hearts do some and i'm going to do the same with this wordy part and just a little bit with her hair i don't really want to do all of her hair so this one's actually on an old like an envelope which is cool so I think that's the benefit of doing it not in a book. You get to experiment with a lot more paper surfaces, which is fun. Because I have I can say I've never painted on an envelope before, but now I have. Ah, oh, I love it. Just got to wipe those bits off her nose. <laughs> oh, I love that. Let's put a bit around here. Around the title. Cute. All right, she's done. Last one. Okay, I'm going to wipe this because I don't want to use the hearts anymore. I don't know what I want to. I think I might do the arrows because 
I have been pretty keen to use the arrows, but I haven't yet. So I think I'm going to use the arrows in this one. Sorry for the shaking of the camera. Alright, so this is the last one. And, okay, well I can put the lids on the ones that I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use green because otherwise it'll be too Christmassy. Um, I could use the blue because it goes in there, but I kind of don't want to make the mold. Like, so you could use the blue because it's the same color here, but it would really stand out. So if you wanted something to stand out, that would be what you could do. Um, this one's a bit too pinky, I think, for this one. Sorry, a bit too red, not pinky. It's too red. Um, I could do this because it's kind of similar to that color. I could do the gold or I could do the white. I might do all three. Let's do a bit of a mergey one for the final one. Frida. Frida's being a little bit of a sticky beak and I'm not sure if she's going to behave herself. All right, let's start with the pink. Whoops, got my stencil caught. Let's do some pink here. <coughs> and some pink like this. And then I need a baby wipe pretty. Oh, now I've got too many baby wipes. <laughs> right, and then I'm going to do some gold. There we go. And I know when you buy this, it does, the gold does look really dull. But when you dry it, you will see the awesomeness that it becomes. Way too much white, as always. <laughs> it's alright, smush it in. Oh, that's going to look amazing. Alright, and I feel like we need a little bit up here going this way, so I'm actually going to be lazy and turn it upside down. <laughs> start with the pink again. I like to start with the darkest colour, and I don't know why, I just like to put it in the corner, so I think it's easier on the eye a little bit that way. I don't know. And because this is up the top, I think I will try and do a bit more of the lighter tones. So a bit more of the gold and more of the white than I did down the bottom. And now way too much white Adele once again. <laughs> it's all right. I'm doing this in real time so you can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> all right. Love it. And do you know what? I'm going to go over the top <laughs> and I'm going to do some here because. Sorry, camera cut out. I'm going to do some here because I feel like there's a big gap. So pink and then the middle color, which is the gold. And then the lightest color which of course is the white, which I didn't get enough of this time, of course. <laughs> I told you I can either get too much or too little. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. All right, pull that back. Nice, all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to turn this off. I'm going to dry them. I'm going to put them in the album. I might even, actually I might even put some paint on the other sides, just slap like a plain colour on the back of them, um, just to make them a bit more attractive. I'm going to pause the video here, or stop the video here, and I'm going to be back tomorrow morning with the finished journal. So stay tuned for tomorrow morning because the finished journal will be up. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please check out the other videos in my Journaling by Fives if you haven't already, including part 5B, where I use modelling paste and stencils to add a little bit of extra something something. Thanks for watching, guys. Follow me on Instagram, Inky Quill, and check out my main channel, Inky Quill, if you want to see more of my stuff. Bye! Stay tuned for tomorrow morning. Bye!